Okay, YouTube. If you remember, uh, I made a video yesterday about how to make a, a pattern. And there's the pattern for the last um, cross member on this section of frame. And there is the cross member. Okay, you can see whether it's cut out for the uh, fuel tank. And that sort of lines up with the other uh, cut out. It's not perfectly lined up because the, the tank actually has a different shape in the back, but that's where the cutout is. And um, I have these uh, pieces of block sitting underneath there, just in cl clamped in place, just to show what that would look like. It's not. I'm not totally finished with it because I want to put a flange along here on both sides to strengthen it. But that's the basic shape of this. Um, the way this thing is made. You can see it flares out at the ends. It's about two inches wide and then flares on, bow on the opposite end just to lay down onto the frame. Now the frame from this point, um, the frame isn't going downhill anymore. The frame is going to flatten out here and that's where this will sit, right at the edge of this. In fact, I think this has to be cut back a little bit in order to work there. Um, also, I don't know if I had mentioned this before. <clears throat> now, to cut out the side of that, what you're looking at right there, all I did was take the pattern, lay it on a piece of steel, and basically cut that out, shape it with a grinder a little bit so that both of them are the same, and pretty much go from there. But the bottom strap, this uh, strap on the bottom here, what I do with that is I bend it on this stuff. There is nothing that I've come across that I can't bend with what you see right there. Between that and an English wheel, I can pretty much bend anything. But I actually bent this strap down here on those logs to fit this around, come out the other side. I did the same thing with this back here. I actually shaped this piece right here on the English wheel, or on the uh, logs that strap that's on the bottom. It takes a little bit of practice, some patience, but it works very well and you don't have to heat anything. I'd rather not work with the metal heated to uh, bend it. I just feel like it stays stronger if you don't heat it. Now I'm not certain of that, but I've heard a couple of different uh, arguments about it. So the frame is looking pretty good. That'll be the last section then once I put those two flanges on this. And then, uh, I, again, like I said, i got to start making all the little pieces that go onto the frame. So, I'm not going to have this video be too long. <clears throat> I just thought you might want to see, you know, what that looks like. And actually, that one does sit on the top of the rail. It doesn't sit inside like those two. It sits on the top, just like you see it. So, I uh, hope you're enjoying these, whoever gets a chance to look at them. Um, it's not impossible to make a frame for your car. I, I'm not a professional car guy. I mean, I've probably restored about 20 trucks in my lifetime, pickup trucks, and I've rebuilt, a, I don't know, probably about 30 engines or so. But um, I'm not bad at it, and I do like doing it. So, you know, it's something somebody could do in their home garage if you're fairly well equipped. I don't have everything, but I've got enough. You know, so, I mean, you know, if you don't feel like spending a whole lot of money on another truck, but you could if you wanted to, and you have some money that you can put into some steel and time, I think this is the way to go. I really do. What I ought to do is make a blueprint for this thing and then put it on uh, eBay and let people buy it for a couple bucks just so they have something to really, you know, go by. I don't know if this frame for this 89 is something that went from 1989 all the way to, what is it, 96 or something? Or 88 to 96. I, I don't remember the years exactly. But, um, hey, you know, Beach paying 45 grand for another truck or whatever they want for them. Alright, so anyway, now you see how I've done that basically. Cut it out, clean it up, grind them up. I, I uh, clamp them together so I can grind them so they're both the same. 
and then I go ahead and take that bottom strap that's underneath here and I just bend that on one of these things until I get the shape that I want and then I just start laying it in there and tack it in place and then I do a full weld on it after I'm finished okay so that's it for this video thanks guys